So I have had the chance to test 50, probably 50 plus different coffee machines, but this is one of the most interesting ones I've found. This is for single to large cups and even small shots of espresso. It's the DeLonghe, I had to check the, the, the name really quick. It's the DeLonghe automatic coffee machine uh, because it not only makes your coffee for you from start, but it also uses fresh ground coffee beans. Now you can also use pre-ground if you prefer, that's 100% up to you. There's a little slot here for the pre-ground, but there's also the slot here where we put in our coffee beans. And today we're gonna be trying it out. Uh, we're gonna be trying a full cup, which is, you can see all the different options here. We'll kind of go over that when I go over the machine, uh, but we'll also be trying a shot of espresso as well. Um, so you can see how both taste and how it works. So we'll be using really real espresso beans. And then we'll also be looking at the self-cleaning feature. So this thing at the end of its use cleans itself out every time before it turns off. That way that all the lines stay and all the coffee gets out, all that good stuff. Um, so let's start by going over the machine and then we'll set it up. We'll fill it up with water and we'll test demo it and see how it works. This is a very interesting machine, so I just wanted to go over it really quickly. Obviously at the front here, we have all our coffee options. You have everything from a three ounce to an eight ounce, all the way up to a 24 ounce. From there, you can select your type. So you can choose between light, gold, or bold, and then over ice if you prefer as well. And then our brew button, and that's honestly pretty much each. There's also some buns down here to descale it if it gets dirty. Not gonna worry about that. Now here we have a movable platform. If you have bigger coffee mugs, we put it here. If we have smaller cups, we pull out the platform and now we can utilize the platform. Over here is our water tank. You can either lift the lid to refill it or we can pull the whole thing out and go refill it. And we can also, this part's really good. We can pull out this whole section here and this is where all of our dirty coffee grinds go and our dirty coffee water. So you can pull this whole section out here and clean it when it needs to be clean. Nice feature. And the last part is up here. We actually can fully load our coffee beans into there. This has a nice steel seal on it, this lid. So it's gonna stay fresh and then our coffee grinds into that hole. And that's honestly uh, pretty much it. So all that's left to do is let's go fill up our water tank and see how well this makes coffee. Okay, so I filled this up first of all. The water tank just pops on. It's really easy to place on. I love how simple it is to pull off. It's almost like a magnetic design without the magnet, I guess. I then have some coffee beans here. Now I'm gonna be using just espresso beans. I think that should be fine even for the, the full cup of coffee. So I'm just gonna go ahead and load it up here. You can see it fits quite a bit. So you actually could probably use this at least four or five mornings in a row before, I think this would last three or four uses depending on how much water you're obviously using. The coffee beans though, you really only have to fill up every once in a while. So that's a, obviously a really nice benefit. And then we can just close that lid there and they stay nice and fresh inside the machine. So we're gonna start by making our coffee. So I think we actually have to, we have to run it through first. So I think this is gonna run it through a quick water cycle. Um, this is because it's our first time using the machine. So I'm gonna let it do its thing and then we'll come back and uh, start our cup of coffee. All right, so we let it cycle through and you can see now the time is going. So we can set the time, but I don't wanna worry about that. We're gonna leave it there. Cool that the time is there. Um, I don't know if you can set a timer for a coffee, but I don't think so. So we're gonna use this little platform and we're gonna put it in our cup here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it to, I think I want, this would be best, I think, as a 12 ounce. So we're gonna select our size first. You can see we just have to use the button to toggle. So these are not touch options, it's just the one button. So we're gonna go to 12 ounce. And I want a gold brew. Now that should be in between a light and bold, so it's just a medium brew, basically. And now we just press that button. And that's it, we let it go. Okay, so we have our first one done. You can see that's a pretty generous 12 ounces. I'm gonna put this to the side. We're gonna grab an espresso cup. We're gonna move this over to three ounce. We'll stick with gold and we're now gonna try a little espresso in there. So you can see we have our cute little espresso cup. We're gonna place that in the center. Should be good right about there. We're gonna press brew. And we're gonna let it go to work. Look at how much, look how rich and dark the espresso is right now. Um, so that's really showing you that it's actually compressing it, making sure it's properly tamped in, and it's giving you a really nice warm espresso. So I'm really excited to taste this one. 
Okay, so we have both our coffee done and our beautiful shot of espresso, which I want to show you the espresso shot. You can see how it has that creamy top layer that only happens when you get a really good espresso. Um, so if you ever have a cheap espresso machine, you don't get that foam on the top. That has to do with the compression that you're getting. So let's start with our coffee. We're gonna try it black. This made a really full uh, 12 ounces. I wish I would have clicked eight. 12 seems too much for this cup. Let's give it a try. Now I'm looking to see how watery it is. I would definitely say that's a mild to medium bold. Now these are espresso beans, so I don't know if this was the best option for this um, for a coffee, uh, but it's not bad with some cream and sugar. I can mess with that. That's a good cup of pretty instant coffee that's not coming from a pot where it's going through the grind. So not bad. Let's try our espresso now. This should be pretty concentrated. Cheers. Right there on the camera. Ooh. Okay, a little bit of sugar or some uh, simple syrup in here. That would be not bad. Okay, so they're both fairly good to be honest. Now I wanna show you what happens when we turn off the machine. So let's flip this up. We're gonna go ahead and turn off our machine. Now this is where the auto cleaning process comes in. So watch as it turns off. It should now start spitting out uh, the dirty water lines, plus all our coffee grind should be inside. And I'm gonna show you that in a second as well. Okay, and that should be it. So now let me show you what it looks like inside the machine when we pull out our uh, tray here. So we should have inside, you can see the dirty water over there and our coffee grinds go into this one right here. So you can kind of see they're kind of formed as a puck and that's because they get pressed down. But that's really everything. So we can pull this out and clean it every once in a while. It will tell you when it's full as well. But that's how you make a pretty easy coffee and espresso. I'd honestly give this machine a, an A+.